en question. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. This morning, the trial chamber Ce matin, will hear the testimony of a civil party, party civil. Chao Ni. Chao Ni. This is the additional testimony Il requested de la déposition by Kyosampan's request demandé par la défense de Kyosampan. That is document E250 and the decision Je vous renvoie au document E250 of the TC et à la décision de la chambre. That is document E267/3. À savoir le document E267/3. The civil party actually testified already. Cette partie civile a déjà déposé within case concernant zero zero les faits relevant the dossier 002 par 011 Et ce, le 23 novembre 2012, allowed to pour pose cette question raison, through these witness concerning les parties ne seront pas autorisées à interroger party. cette partie civile au sujet des New faits qui ont déjà fait l'objet de sa première déposition. Him. De nouveaux faits pourront être the soumis à cette personne. Et à la fin de cette deuxième déposition, he was given the opportunity la to make his statement of a suffering, and he raised a new fact at the time. But we did not conclude the proceeding regarding that new la fact, and due to the request, he has been recalled. Mais certains nouveaux faits n'avaient pas été examinés, ce qui explique cette deuxième comparution. And the hearing of this civil party's testimony, the floor will be given first to Kyo Sampan's defense. La défense de Kyo Sampan aura la parole en premier. And the entire testimony for this witness will last for this morning session. Et la session. déposition de cette partie civile durera toute la matinée. La Defense Council, you may proceed. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Mesdames, Messieurs de la Chambre. Good morning, euh, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Je m'interroge sur la légitimité de l'ordre que vous venez d'indiquer. The legitimacy of the order that you have just laid out. L'ordre habituel de passage, generally, s'agissant d'une partie civile. Speaking. Est différent de celui que vous venez Normalement, ce sont les partis civils qui posent des questions en premier. Ensuite, le procureur et enfin la défense. Je rappelle à votre chambre que, effectivement, nous avons demandé à ce que M. revienne. C'est exact, mais ce n'est pas notre témoin. Euh, nous avons demandé à ce qu'il revienne parce que, au moment où cette personne s'exprimait, était supposée s'exprimer sur ses souffrances, Euh, il a subitement <coughs> évoqué un suffering. fait nouveau et qu'à cette époque, il ne nous a pas été permis hearing, euh, de lui poser des questions sur we ce fait. Not authorized to ask him any questions with respect to that fact. You recall that my learned friend, Councillor Antagisse, was barred from asking questions. Therefore, it appears only natural that the regular sequencing of examination be respected. This will only facilitate proceedings. <coughs> la partie civile nous a adressé the civil party une, uh, un mail hier sent avec our des team, questions qu'elle souhaite poser uh, the civil parties, <coughs> à l'audience et nous voyons subitement encore un fait nouveau qui apparaît qui n'avait pas été évoqué et encore une fois il apparaît que des nouveaux faits sont surfacés et des nouveaux sujets sont going to be raised. Euh, 
l'oncle de la partie civile aurait été appelé à la radio. Uncle of the civil party je crois que was called or was mentioned temps, uh, on the radio. Le plus simple est que les parties civiles Now, posent les questions qu'ils ont à poser. Now, it would be most straightforward for the civil parties to ask the questions clients, ensuite, that they deem necessary enfin, uh, to their client, followed by the prosecution, followed by the defense. Le contour exact we would, de la in, déposition, uh, we would therefore be in a position to understand the precise contours of uh, voilà. the new facts to be discussed and elaborated upon this morning. We believe that everybody has been given due allocation of time. Therefore, we respectfully request uh, that the civil parties commence examinations, followed by the okay. co-prosecutors, followed by the defense. Thank you, Your Honours. Le président. President, thank you, counsel. Merci now the assigned lawyer for the legal lawyers. Uh, la you may proceed. Est à par les principaux pour les parties civiles. Thank you, Your Excellency. Members. We would prefer that the protocol or the procedure that has been prescribed by Your Honours be followed. That is, for the defense to begin, followed by the prosecution, and finally by the civil parties. Pas. And the reasons we say this is for three reasons. The first, as has been actually um, admitted by the defense, the only reason the civil party is called here is not because of a general procedure. He has already given his evidence in chief previously last year in November. He has been called by the defense to answer what they suggest is a new allegation of fact. And both the prosecution and the civil parties have not objected to their request. It is their request to call this civil party to ask him about this question. The second reason is that they have full opportunity to ask him anything that they would wish to within their allocated time. So they feel that in relation to this new allegation, they have additional questions to ask. They should lead by beginning to ask those questions, for example, about the radio broadcasts upon which they've now been put on notice. And third, Your Excellency, obviously it's fully within your discretion to choose the procedure now that should be followed, and we have no objection to the procedure that you've put forward. President, Le Président. thank you. Merci. We will maintain our previous decision, that is the requester will lead the questioning of the civil party before la other parties. Qui va commencer, puisque elle qui a présenté cette demande de comparution. Ms. Sakoboti, could you report Madame the Sakoboti, attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Sakoboti, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties are present. Les parties sont présentes. As for Nunchi, he is present Nunchi in the holding cell downstairs. As per the decision of the trial chamber due to health concern. TCCP 187 is in the waiting room to be called TCCP by the trial chamber. There is no reserved witness today. President, court officer, could you invite the civil party into the courtroom?
President. Le président. Good morning. Is your name Chao Ni? Bonjour. Vous appelez-vous Chao Ni? Civil party. My name is Chao Ni. Civil. Je m'appelle Chao Ni. Question. Mr. Chao Ni. Monsieur Chao Ni. Do you recall that you were summoned Vous by the trial chamber to be to testify? Do you recall the date of your testimony? Vous souvenez-vous de la date de votre comparution Mr. Tiani, please uh, observe a small Veuillez pause until you see the red light on the tip of the uh, microphone que le voyant and rouge de votre on the uh, console et itself. De votre console. So that your voice will go through the Ainsi, votre voix system. In particular, it goes through to the interpretation system as your voice will be interpreted into vos propos seront English and French simultaneously. Civil party. La partie civile. Yeah. I testified before this court on the 22nd November 2012. Thank you. Le président. Merci. As you already testified before this trial Vous chamber, déjà déposé and cette it is on the transcript, there is no need for the chamber to ask your personal background. Les informations However, we still would like to remind you of your rights and obligations that you are entitled to express your suffering that you suffered physically, mentally, and materially as a result of the crimes committed. Découlant des crimes reprochés. And which have been accused of the but on the true accused here in this courtroom, that is Nuji and Kyu Sampong for their acts during the Democratic Cambodian regime. Concernant la période du Cambodia démocratique. Previously, you were given the opportunity to make your statement of Vous suffering. However, at that time, you raised a new fact. Vous avez un fait and for that reason, you've been recalled and you will vous avez été à be given à time to make your statement of suffering vous again. Disposerez à nouveau de l'occasion de faire une déclaration sur vos souffrances. The floor is now given to Kyu Sampong's defense to put questions to this civil party. Interroger la partie civile. Regarding all the facts considered new, au sujet de tous les faits considérés comme nouveaux, raised by this civil party, ayant été soulevés par cette partie civile, as requested by your team, et ce suite à la demande présentée par la défense de Kyu Sampan. Je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Je m'appelle Arthur Verken. Je suis Arthur un des avocats de M. Kyu Sampan. I am one of the lawyers representing Mr. Kyu Sampan. Je suis pas moi qui étais à l'audience du 23 novembre. Alors, ce jour-là, vous vous êtes exprimé sur euh, vos souffrances et à cette occasion, euh, vous avez and on that same occasion, demandé la possibilité de poser des questions directement à M. Kyu Sampan. You asked to euh, D'abord, je voudrais vous dire que M. Kyu Sampan va vous répondre. First and foremost, I wish Mais avant cela, euh, je voudrais vous poser quelques questions will to you. sur However, ce que that, vous avez dit le 23 novembre. To ask you a few questions on what you stated on the 23rd of November. Vous avez dit dans un premier November, temps 
You testified J'aimerais poser des... At the outset. Alors d'abord, avant de, de vous relire ce que vous avez dit, well, je voudrais vous demander si vous-même vous l'avez relu. Est-ce que les avocats, les partis civils, vos avocats vous ont relu ce que vous aviez dit à l'audience du 23 novembre Ce que vous avez en tête. Ou si votre avocat civil parti lawyer provided you the document, the official transcript of what you said on the 23rd of November. No, I haven't read non. nor seen the document. Je n'ai pas lu ni vu ce document. D'accord. Parce que tout ce que vous dites Very dans well. ce micro est Because écrit. Everything that you utter in the microphone is transcribed. We have the si ce n'est parfois quelques difficultés liées à des traductions, je vous parlais en Khmer. There are sometimes maybe issues of translation. Donc ce que j'ai sous les yeux, c'est un transcrit du 23 novembre 2012 qui porte la cote E1 barre de fraction 146.1 et vous dites j'aimerais poser des questions à Kieu Sampan un de mes oncles avait un lien avec Kieu Sampan un de mes oncles avait un lien avec ça, c'est la with première Mr. partie de ce que vous dites. J'en suis une dispute entre toutes les parties then ensues, uh, relative à la possibilité pour vous de poser des questions directement à M. Kiosampan. Je passe à to right to to cet épisode Mr. et puis on I vous will redonne la parole. Spare you of what happened, et là, uh, je cite... Voilà ce que you were then given the floor, and you say the following. On the 17th of April 1975, le jour de la libération, on the day of liberation, Kyusampon wrote a letter inviting Chao my Sao uncle Chao Sao, lui demandant de rentrer à Phnom Penh, asking him to return to Phnom Penh. Et je veux savoir pourquoi. And I want to know why. Kyusampon l'a-t-il finalement rencontré, mon oncle? Did Kyusampon end up meeting my uncle? That is my first question. Ma deuxième question est la suivante. My second question is the following. Le chauffeur de M. Chao Sao, en 1979, je l'ai rencontré à Phnom Penh. I met him Il m'a dit la chose Penn. suivante. He told me Lorsque Chao Sao a été when Chao évacué, Sao was evacuated, quand il est arrivé à Prek Dam, and when he arrived in Prek Dam, deux soldats lui ont livré une lettre de Kieu Sampan qui lui était adressée. There were two soldiers who delivered a letter lettre, from Kyu Sampan to him. Il était and écrit the content que of the letter Chao Sao stated that Mr. Chao Sao is required to Mais return Chao to Phnom Penh. Pen. However, Chao Sao refused. Il a dit il he ne said that he would Pen only return to Phnom Penh when all the citizens of Phnom Penh residents were Et allowed to return. Sont revenus une deuxième fois. And subsequently, the two soldiers returned for, this, for a second time, inviting him to come et to Phnom refusé. Penh again, and he still refused. Depuis ce jour, and Monsieur Chao Sao a disparu. Onwards, Ma question à Kyu Sampan est la suivante. Où est-il mort C'est ce que je this veux savoir. Si je sais où il est mort, 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 End of quote. Is que ce que je viens de lire, Monsieur, is what I just read out. A reflection of your memory of what you stated on the 23rd of November 2012. Yes, uh, all the quotes that. You just oui. read out, uh, Toutes ces uh, citations sont exactes. Ensuite, je voudrais donc vous poser quelques questions. Ce ne sera pas très long, je pense. I'll be very brief in the following questions je voudrais that vous demander euh, d'abord, est-ce que Firstly, vous pouvez nous donner le nom can you please provide the du court chauffeur de votre oncle the name of your uncle's driver. My uncle's driver Le named Chim. Mon oncle s'appelait Chim. At that time, he was about 50 years old. Il avait une cinquantaine He was a little bit older than my uncle. Il était un peu plus âgé que mon oncle. 
Et ce monsieur est-il toujours vivant Et si oui, où habite-t-il And is that gentleman still alive And if so, where does he live In 1979, I happened to meet him during a wedding celebration behind the purple pagoda. And of course, I never thought that this kind of tribunal would be established. And at the time, I did not ask him much. Je ne lui ai guère posé When I met with him, my wife and my mother-in-law was there, ma femme, and ma he spoke about uh, the event took place at a break dam. Des événements de break -dam. At the time, he said, à ce moment -là, while fleeing at break dam, Chao Sao received a letter as I did described in my previous testimony. In the first letter, he refused to return to Phnom Penh until the people returned. Tant que la population n'y serait pas retournée. Very well. I understood that. However, I ask you a very specific question, and we won't be able to proceed swiftly if you don't answer my questions directly. We've already visited that, but I just ask you now if that gentleman is still alive, and if so, where does your uncle's former driver reside? Do you know? That is my question. That was the only time that I met him, and I do not know where he lived or whether he is still living today. Je ne sais pas s'il est encore en vie, ni le cas échéant où il habite. Est-ce que vous savez de quelle région il est originaire? And you know from which region he is from? Can you come and bans for any doubt about? I did not ask him when I met him at the time. Quand je l'ai rencontré cette fois-là, je ne lui ai pas posé la question. Il a dit après avoir quitté Chao Sao, il est parti à la recherche de sa famille. Je ne lui ai pas posé de question sur l'endroit où il est allé. Combien de temps a duré votre discussion en 1979 lors de ce mariage Et en 1979, combien de temps a duré votre discussion It was during a wedding ceremony, so we spoke briefly, not at length. Nous avons parlé pendant peu de temps. We spoke for about ten to fifteen minutes. Notre conversation a duré entre dix et quinze minutes. Dans votre déposition que j'ai relue, vous dites que vous donnez une date. D'ailleurs, c'est par cela que vous commencez. Vous dites le 17 avril 1975, le jour de la libération. Pieux Sampan a écrit une lettre invitant mon oncle à rentrer à Phnom Penh. Pieux Sampan a écrit une lettre à mon oncle demandant qu'il retourne à Phnom Penh. Ces sont vos mots exacts. Le chauffeur, il a, il vous a cité la date de la lettre. Did the driver tell you the date, the exact date of the letter addressed from Kiusampong to your uncle? No, it was not the 17th April 1975. It was about three days later when he arrived at Pregdam and Ben, and when he received the letter, it was not on the 17th April 1975. Et alors pourquoi le 23 novembre 2012, lorsque vous étiez dans cette chambre, vous avez donné cette date-là, le 17 avril 1975 Why did you state that the letter was dated 17th of April 1975? It's not the 17th April 1975. It was three days after when Chao Sao fled to Break Dam. That is after he left his house in Tuolco. Après avoir quitté sa maison de Tuolco.
Oui, j'ai bien compris, mais je vous demande pas yes, seulement... Oui, j'ai compris ça. Euh, enfin, là, il me semble que vous rectifiez ce que vous avez dit uh, le, le 23 novembre. Mais il me semble que vous vous demandez juste pourquoi le 23 novembre 2012, vous aviez dit le 17 avril 1975. Aujourd'hui, vous vous dites que c'est trois ans plus tard, date mais le 23 novembre 2012, vous aviez parlé du 17 avril. Vous étiez trompé, c'est ça Et aujourd'hui, vous dites que c'est trois ans plus tard. Vous êtes dit que c'est trois ans plus tard. Vous êtes dit Le civil parti, please observe a pause. The prosecution, you may proceed. Your Honour, just a brief point of clarification. My reading of that transcript is that the civil party indicated that he thought the letter was written on the 17th of April 1975, not that the letter reached Chao Sao at Brecht Dam on the 17th of April 1975. So my understanding of that reference is that it relates to perhaps the date of the letter. Um, and I just want to make sure that we have that right so that the civil party is not confused. Il serait bon de préciser les choses pour ne pas semer le doute chez la partie civile. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Effectivement, Thank you, Mr. moi aussi, c'est la compréhension que, que j'ai de, de votre déposition du, du 23 novembre, Monsieur le témoin. Je la relis encore une troisième fois pour ce cas de d'accusation sure de déformation à mon encontre, je cite, vous, vous avez déclaré le 17 avril 1975, le jour de la libération, que Sampan a écrit une lettre invitant mon oncle Chow Sao et lui demandant de rentrer à Phnom Penh. Et je veux savoir euh, si... Lorsque vous vous êtes entretenu avec ce chauffeur en 1978, que cette lettre aurait été écrite le jour de la libération, c'est-à-dire le 17 avril 1975, That was uh, what he said at that time, but the letter was received uh, later on. The letter was dated the 17th of April, and during that time, uh, we could hear on radio broadcasts in which Cheng uh, Heng Sri Matak and Chao Sao uh, were heard. Uh, in the radio broadcast and that we all appealed for them uh, looking after them uh, looking for them and indeed the letter was sent Un appel a été lancé rather pour was received at a later date et une lettre a été envoyée et reçue plus tard et vous même à l'époque vous l'avez entendu and cette émission de radio did you hear that radio broadcast back then On the 17th of April 1975, immediately after the deliberation of Phnom Penh, I still possessed a radio, and I and my mother-in-law and other relatives jointly listened to the radio broadcasts, and we heard these names mentioned in the broadcasts. Avec moi, et nous avons entendu ces noms mentionnés. Pouvez-vous nous rappeler quel était le travail de votre oncle mon oncle travaillait à la banque, au Crédit National. Et la dernière fois que vous l'avez vu, c'était quand face to face, when was that? Response, uh, the last time, are you referring to 
Bien sûr, pas récemment, sinon nous well, ne pas là. Recently, course, je vous demande la here. dernière fois I'm que vous avez you, vu votre oncle, quel que soit le, le uncle, moment. No the moment. Response. I was uh, very young and I was at Olympic uh, location jeune. when my uncle was uh, in Tulkok. We did not meet uh, very often, and I was young, and he was holding senior position. And with that, I did not have much time, or I did not meet him very often. And uh, during the time of the liberation, he uh, brought his uh, assets and belongings and have them kept at my home. The home I rent uh, at uh, Olympic uh, location. Olympic. And I met him. Uh, the last time I met La him was uh, during uh, prior to 1975, the 17th of April 1975. Uh, it was three days before the 17th of April. D'accord. Et euh, Fine. La lettre euh, dont vous a parlé le chauffeur, c'était la première fois que vous en entendiez parler au moment où il vous en a parlé en 1979. C'est exact. That was the first time you heard Are you asking me about the letter in 1979? I think uh, that's not the case because I haven't received any letter in 1979. Perhaps you repeat the question. Oui, bien sûr. C'est tout à fait normal. of course. La lettre dont vous nous dites que votre oncle aurait été le destinataire which apparently your uncle et qu'il aurait reçu and which he quelques jours après la libération, cette lettre, est-ce que vous l'avez vue ou est-ce que c'est si vous n'en avez entendu parler que or did you only hear about this par l'ancien chauffeur de votre oncle uh, Through uh, the former driver of your uncle. Response. The letter was received uh, by my uncle and I was uh, not uh, with him because I was uh, leaving Phnom Penh on National Road Number 2 when he was uh, heading to National Road Number 5. But later on, I received uh, information from Mr. Chao Sao's uh, driver about the letter and I do not even know the content lettre. of uh, the letter et je pas au and de there was a second lettre. letter also sent out ailleurs, through the driver when in the letter uh, because of that second letter people were uh, trying to locate uh, Mr. Chao Sao's family and Chao Sao himself but uh, he or uh, they were not located response Donc il y a eu deux lettres, so c'est ce que vous dites maintenant. Two letters, is that what you're telling us? J'ai bien compris. Is that what I'm supposed to understand? Response. Yes, uh, there was... Uh, oui. The driver told me that there was two letters. There were two letters. Because the first letter was sent to him 
And then another letter also was sent in which he asked uh, the driver to um, return. Et à cette à l'occasion de cette deuxième that's, that's what we heard uh, from the driver who uh, talked to us in detail about uh, what Mr. Zhao Sao talked to him. Et quand vous avez eu cette conversation, euh, avec le chauffeur en 1979, et à quelle date elle avait été euh, when rédigée This letter was drafted. Response. I did not ask him more about this. I only learned from him at that time. He said uh, he left Mr. Chao Sao. He called him Lok which means Mr. And uh, he said that uh, the second letter was sent to him and two days after that, uh, Mr. Chao Sao was nowhere to be located. Mr. President, I have no further questions, but uh, Mr. Kyosampo would like uh, uh, to speak to the civil party, if possible. The President. Mr. Chao uh, Ni, you may ask questions uh, to Mr. Kyusampan or, or Mr. Kyusampan can put questions to Mr. Chao Ni, but through the President of the Chamber. Council Kung Sampan, Mr. President, I may wish uh, to uh, correct uh, this version a little bit. Just now, Mr. Kyusampan did not wish uh, to speak uh, with the civil party, but during his last time when he came to uh, take the stand, uh, he asked a question to Mr. Kilsenpon to which uh, he has not received the response, and perhaps this is the opportunity for Mr. Kilsenpon to respond. The President, uh, Mr. Civil Party, would you still wish uh, to uh, put uh, your question? You would like uh, to ask uh, Mr. Kilsenpon a moment or a while ago, and that uh, during that time there was a uh, technical uh, difficulty that uh, your question could As not uh, be conveyed to Mr. Kilsenpon. Now, may we ask Monsieur whether Kilsenpon you still wish to ask the same question? Cette question. Civil Party. Thank you, La Mr. Civil. President and Your Honours. I Merci may Monsieur wish to President, ask Mesdames the same question, but with additional information. The President, you may repeat that question, but one Le question President, at a time, à and then we, uh, the President of the Trial Chamber, will convey your question to Mr. Kilsenpon so that uh, he can respond, but he appears to be ready to respond to your question. Question. I would like to repeat that question, and I would like to also add a few words into that old question. My question is, Mr. Kilsenpon, what was the letter you sent to my uncle about? Because during the first time, he rejected uh, to return to Phnom Penh and less all the people Penh, were allowed to return to Phnom Penh. Si and secondly, why did Mr. Chao Sao ask uh, his driver to Pourquoi return Monsieur and Chao look for uh, the driver's family? And that uh, who, why he asked uh, his driver not to be involved uh, with him Et again? And 
a-t-il demandé à son chauffeur de le laisser Why et Mr. de Chow le plus Chow de lui ever since. Et pourquoi M. Chao Sao a-t-il disparu à jamais Chow Si M. Chao Sao a-t-il disparu à jamais 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 Si M. Chao Sao a-t-il disparu à Uh, where he could have disappeared or died so that we can find the place where he could have died and where we can hold a traditional ritual ceremony. The president, Le president. Uh, Mr. Chauni, you asked uh, the questions but The questions uh, were rather long already, but we would like to make sure that uh, one question is put at a time. And now we understand that Mr. Kilson Pond has listened to the questions, and we would like to hand the floor over to him to respond. Mr. Kilson Pond. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Your Honours. Bonjour, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. Good morning to everyone in this courtroom. Bonjour à tous ici présents. My apologies. Uh, apology. Uh, good morning to every fellow Cambodian citizen. And Bonjour good morning to you, Mr. Chauni. Allow me Bonjour, to inform you that I used to know Mr. Chao Sao, vous dire que connu Monsieur Chao Sao during the 1960s. Dans les années 60. He was the president of a bank. Il était le président bank. The National Credit Bank. Le Crédit National. I understand your feeling, your suffering, Je and how your family could have felt by trying to find out about your uncle's whereabouts and information. En recherchant his votre oncle, oncle et en cherchant à connaître son sort. And you also emphasize that if Mr. Chao Sao this, uh, uh, were a passed away, you would Vous like to bring his remains si for Buddhist ritual décédé, ceremony. Vous souhaiteriez retrouver sa dépouille afin Unfortunately, I have no information at all about the fate of your uncle, and I did not have any information about him during the Democratic Cambodia. And you said uh, somebody told you that I wrote uh, letters vous to your uncle. Please be vous a dit confirmed. Que Please uh, des understand that I didn't do that. Bien, I never written such a letter. Rien fait de la sorte. Je écrit ces There was no soldier under my order or command Je so that I could send a letter to someone, like you say. And as you already are aware, vous avez I was compelled to flee Phnom Penh. I had to leave behind my sick mother who had uh, been malade. staying with me all along. I had to leave behind my younger siblings who had uh, been supported by me since uh, 1967. From then on, your uncle 
and I myself uh, never had the opportunity to meet one another again. Pu votre so, in conclusion, en conclusion donc, there was or there is no means for me to send any letter to your uncle. Je n'avais aucun moyen on top of that, un courrier à votre oncle. it was not possible that ailleurs, it was my intention to look for your uncle or to recall him to return to Phnom Penh. Que je cherche à retrouver votre oncle ou que je lui demande de revenir à Phnom Penh. Today, I may wish to also tell you that I fully appreciate the sufferings you and your family could have had. We, I fully understand that you have the sympathy with or toward your uncle and for this reason, I would like to take the, this opportunity to talk to you in person so that you understand my heart. I am talking this from the bottom of my heart so that everything is clear and that your mind is clear. I feel sorry that uh, there is no way I can help you to entertain your request uh, or to answer to your uh, request and I hope uh, you understand uh, me and uh, my situation. That's all. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the President. Uh, uh, next, uh, Mr. Chao Sao, would you wish to... Uh, rather, Mr. Chao Ni, would you wish to say anything else? Avez-vous autre chose à rajouter? Mr. Chowney, Mr. President, I'm still not La satisfied because Mr. Kilsompon and Mr. Chow Sao were very satisfait. close because Monsieur Mr. Kilsompon would Chow come to uh, eat uh, at Monsieur Mr. Chow Sao's uh, home at Tulkok. I still feel uh, that uh, he has not told me all the truth. Uh, I don't really say that he has killed my uncle, but I just wish to get more truthful information from him. The President, counsels for Mr. Kilsompon already asked you clearly about the source of information that makes you believe that Kiu Sompon was the one who sent the letters through uh, the soldier to Mr. Chao Sao. But uh, through the cross-examination, uh, you indicated that uh, there was no strong source of information about this que and the connection con regarding the, the sending of the letter and who sent the letter was already established during the examination. Next, uh, we would like uh, to hand over to the co-prosecutors to put some questions uh, to the civil party regarding this new uh, allegation of a fact, uh, if uh, they would wish to do so. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, we'll be very brief uh, by way of following up on my friend's uh, questions. Uh, Thank you for coming back, Très Mr. Chowney. We understand it's not easy for you to discuss these matters. If I can return uh, to the discussion that you had with uh, Chow Sao's driver à votre conversation avec le chauffeur de Chow Sao about these letters, au sujet de ces lettres. can I first ask you 
whether he told you uh, that he saw this letter personally. Response. At that time when he told me, he said uh, he, he was uh, told uh, by Chao Sao uh, about the letters. However, uh, what the letter was about uh, was not uh, communicated to me. And he said that there were two letters. And that during the second time, when the second letter was delivered to Chao Sao, uh, that the person who delivered the letter was asked by Chao Sao to return. So just to make sure we understand that correctly, uh, it was Chao Sao that told Qin, the, the driver, that he had received a letter from Qi Sampan. Is that, have I got that correct? Response. Yes, it is. Response. Oui, en effet. And do I understand correctly, or oh, uh, let me ask that question differently. Um, when did Chao Sao say this to Qing? À quel moment Chao Sao a-t-il raconté cela à Qing? Response. Réponse. Um, regarding the first letter, upon receiving it, uh, Mr. Chao Sao told the two soldiers that he would not return. But uh, for the second letter, he did not say anything. But he asked uh, or he told Chien to return to his family. I understand. My question is simply about the conversation, the first conversation between Chao Sao La and Chien, entre Chao when he Sao told him about the Chien. first letter, uh, do you know when that conversation took place? Was that three days after evacuation? Was it sometime after that? Response. It was a few days, two or three days after the 17th of April when he talked about this. And uh, he received uh, this uh, information just two or three days after the 17th of April. Did Chiang tell, tell you how long after the first letter it was that the second letter was received by Chao Sao. Quand la deuxième lettre est arrivée, combien de temps après que Chao Sao ait reçu la première lettre, a-t-il reçu la deuxième? Um, the second letter was sent a few days after the first letter was sent. And again, as I told uh, you, that uh, uh, with the second letter, Mr. Chao Sa didn't tell anything to Mr. Chien other than asking him to come back. So, uh, Chien uh, only told me that uh, Chao Sao told him to come back, uh, and that, that's the last time they met. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm insisting on a very specific point. Um, if you don't know, just, just tell me so. Um, the first letter, approximately three days after the 17th of April, the, the second letter, do we know when that letter was apparently received? Response. Réponse. I only say what Qing told me. The first Je letter was sent, and then the second one was sent about two days la after the first one. Thank you. Um, 
did Chao Sao tell Qing what Chao was written in that second letter? Response. Response. Are you referring to the second letter? Faites-vous référence à la deuxième Yes, the second letter. If, if you know anything about, or if you were told Question. anything about what was Début written in that guide. second letter. Vous attend raconter quoi que ce soit sur le contenu de la deuxième lettre. Response. Réponse. Chao Sao did not say anything at all about what written in the second Chao letter. He just told Chin to come back Chin, uh, to be with Chin's family. That's all. Il devait rentrer dans sa famille. C'est tout. I just want to. Uh, uh, clarify that, that last point. Um, in the passage that my learned friend, counsel for Mr. Q. Sampan, read to you, um, in that passage you mentioned that the se second letter was also an invitation to return to Phnom Penh. Um, is, is, that, is that correct or uh, are you not sure about the content of that second letter? Est-ce que c'est exact ou bien ne savez-vous pas très bien ce qu'il y avait dans la deuxième lettre? The President, uh, Mr. Sibu Party, please hold on and International Co-Counsel for Mr. Kyo Sampan, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Just, uh, à des fins de clarification, aussi bien pour mon for frère, purposes of clarification, de l'accusation que pour le témoin, for the witness as well as for the prosecutor, Au témoin, ce qu'il avait dit I le 23 read out to the novembre, et le 23 novembre, novembre, il n'a parlé que d'une seule lettre. Et le 23 novembre, il n'a parlé que d'une seule lettre. Donc, lorsque dans sa question, Monsieur le procureur so, euh, prétend que j'aurais lu à Monsieur un extrait et donc en deuxième lettre, c'est impossible, letter, puisque le 23 novembre, le témoin n'avait pas parlé de deux lettres, mais simplement d'une seule lettre. Parce qu'au 23rd novembre, le témoin n'a seulement parlé d'une seule lettre. Donc, je voudrais juste dire... Afin que les choses soient claires et qu'on ne parte pas ensuite sur so that we don't go des, off des bases qui ne soient pas fondées. Merci. On, um, on a tangent. Merci, uh, uh, Council. Uh, the reason I'm referring to um, the second instance, I'll, I'll read that quote um, for the record, and, and, and it's as follows, quote, and subsequently the two soldiers returned for the second time, inviting him, that is Chao Sao, to come to Phnom Penh again, and he still refused. And from that time onward, Mr. Chao Sao disappeared. Um, so that's the, that's the passage I was, I was referring to. Um, so with your permission, Mr. President, I'll ask the civil party one, one more time whether he knows anything about that con content of the letter, because he seems to, be, seems to have suggested on the 23rd of November that there was another invitation, that there was a second invitation. So can I ask you, Mr. Chao Ni, and if I did not understand that correctly, please do correct uh, the record. This is important. Am I correct in understanding that when the soldiers returned for the second time, that that was to ask Chao Sao again to return to Phnom Penh. Pour à nouveau demander à Chao Sao de rentrer à Phnom Penh. No pe no khiem ban Chin told me that uh, there was the first letter Chine and the second letter, but it is my understanding lettre. that the second letter also is an invitation for him to return to Phnom Penh, but he refused because he would only go if the people were to go. But the thing is, for the second rentrerait. letter upon his he received it. He asked Chin to return to his family. Lettre, il a à Chin but 
I did not know what was the content of the second letter and why he asked his driver to return to his family. It is beyond my understanding. Thank you very much for clarifying that. L'accusation. Merci pour ces éclaircissements. You mentioned also that you believe that Kusam uh, Pan knew Chao Sao and had. Chao Sao. I believe you may have said visited him. Vous avez, je pense, um, parlé d'une visite. In the 1960s, and Mr. Kusam Pan just confirmed, of course, that he left Phnom Penh in 1967. Dans uh, can you tell les the années 60 et que son père a confirmé avoir quitté Phnom Penh en 67. Chao Sao's activities, que savez-vous des activités did, de Chao uh, Sao from 19, late 1960s up to 1975? La fin Whatever des information 60 you're able to give us. Et jusqu'à l'année 75. Quelles informations possédez-vous à ce sujet? At that time, I was a pretty young. Réponse. When he met with Kusum Pan, my mother was there. She lived in a wooden house behind Pan, ma mère Chao Sao's house, house, and he told me that the day my uncle Chao invited Kusum Pan for a meal, and then she would ask me to go to the wooden house at the back. Que mon oncle but I did not know the depth repas, of the relationship between Chao Sao and Kusum Pan. But at that time, Chao Sao he frequently visited Chao Sao at his house. Do you know anything about positions Question. that uh, Chao Sao held from 1970 Chao Sao to 1975, what he did, what his job was? Savez-vous quelles activités il exerçait? From 1970 to 1975, I only know that he was the president of the bank. And later on, he, he formed a political party that is a, a, a democratic uh, political party. That's all I know. Thank you. Truth is very important, and it's important that the court uh, receives as accurate information as possible. Uh, I'm under possible. a duty to ask you this uh, following question. De vous poser um, question suivante. From my conversations with your lawyers, mes um, avec uh, vos I understand that Chao Sao was your wife's que uncle. Chao Sao était uh, de votre épouse. And I'll ask you to just clarify that for us, because it is important that we have that right. Il est important um, de ne pas se tromper là-dessus. Was Chao Sao your uncle, Est-ce que Chao Sao was était he votre your wife's uncle, uncle ou celui de votre épouse? Chao Sao was my wife's uncle. Chao Sao était l'oncle de mon épouse. Thank you, and I have no further question, Mr. President. Thank you for the time allocated to us. Merci d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Monsieur le Président, merci de nous avoir alloué ce temps d'interrogatoire. Le Président, merci. La parole est à présent donnée aux avocats principaux pour les parties civiles qui pourront poser des questions supplémentaires à la partie civile, je vous en prie. L'avocat de la partie civile. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Chow, I'll have very few questions. Chao, You've been very brave in your answers poser. today and in the questions that you have asked. I just want to have clarification on a few points that you made, especially since they've been raised both by the defense and by the prosecution, and also ask you a little bit about Chao Sao. For the benefit of the court, could we know, you've, you've mentioned earlier, that Mr. Chao Sao, your wife's uncle, and a person you referred to as uncle, was the head of the National Credit Bank. Can you tell us a little bit more about his reputation in the 1960s and the early 1970s amongst the Khmer Crown population in Cambodia?
parmi la population Khmer Krom au Cambodge. Allow me to respond. Mr. Chao Sao was very famous Chao to Sao the people from uh, Khmer Krom. He was a person of Khmer justice. Krom. He was un homme juste not a corrupt person. Qui pas he earned corrompu. his living honestly Il sa and vie he assisted the Khmer Krom people Et in finding their employment and their place to live. Et un so he was very famous amongst the Khmer Krom people in Phnom Penh. Thank you. Question. And Merci. given that he was quite famous amongst Vu the Khmer Krom people, were there many Khmer Krom who also worked with him at the National Credit Bank, where he was the managing director? At that time, uh, a lot of uh, staff working at the National Credit Bank were a Khmer Krom, namely Jiang, uh, who is still living, qui est en vie de nos jours, and Chao Sot, ainsi que Chao Sot, my relative, qui but uh, Chao Sot passed away during the Chao Khmer Rouge regime. Yes, indeed, the, uh, maturi the majority Donc, of the staff working in that bank were the Khmer Krom. Chao Ban, whose house I rent at Olympia during uh, that time, also uh, worked in that bank. Aussi dans cette Thank you. So just to repeat, Question. as you've mentioned to the court Répétons. previously, Chao Sao used to live in Tolkok during that period, and he was well known to many Khmer Krom. And Chao Ban, your cousin brother, whose house you lived in in Olympic Stadium, was owned or owned by Chao Ban, who also worked for Chao Sao at the National Credit Bank. Is that correct? Stade Olympique, and he also worked under the direction of Chao Sao à la Banque du Crédit National. Est-ce exact Chao Ban worked differently Chao from Ban Chao Sao's place. Le he was known as a Chao Sao. Sony Prime. That's the place where he worked, uh, not at the Il bank. Il travaillait à Sony Prime et pas à la banque. But a lot of people from uh, Khmer Krom were supported uh, by Chao Sao and later on Chao they were employed Sao. in that bank. You mentioned earlier Question. to the court, uh, Mr. Chauni, that Monsieur Chauni, you had heard from your mother and from your other relatives that Chao Sao would have known Q Sampan very well and they had meals together. Is that correct? My mother-in-law clearly told me that because every time Chao Sao made a guest, then my mother-in-law would tell me because uh, Ma me le they disait. did not have their parents. Yeah, their parents uh, passed away a long time ago and there were only three siblings within their family and they loved each other very much. Frères et sœurs dans la famille et ils étaient très Later proches. Later on, in 1974, my mother-in-law fled to uh, Khmer Krom. So during the liberation, she did not live with uh, Chao Sao. But in 1979, she came looking for Chao Sao and looking for Sous les Rouge, her relatives. Ici, but elle all disappeared. Sa famille, mais tout ça avait and she almost uh, became mentally ill due to the loss tête. of the relatives. Après avoir perdu sa Thank you. Mr. Chowney, you mentioned earlier Question. about the radio broadcasts on the national radio that were going on radio in 1975 after the Khmer Rouge came into power. Après la prise de and you Khmer said Rouge. that in this radio broadcast, you had also heard radio, 
Chao Sao's name, Sisowat Srik Matak's name, and Ching Heng's name being called. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. But, but yes, that is correct. Exact. correct. On the 17th April 1975, Cheng Heng and Chao Sao's names were Et heard Chao on Sao the radio broadcast. But uh, the broadcast, uh, including his name, were only Mais for about three days, and later on, his name was not heard uh, anymore on the national broadcast. I see. So just to clarify, when you heard the names Donc, of all the, these three people, my question is first, were they being asked to come back to Phnom Penh? My first question, please. Yes, that is correct. And I'm, I know the court knows this, or it has been mentioned in court before, but from your understanding, who were these other two people? Who were Cheng Heng and Sisowat Sirik Matak, from your understanding? These two individuals in between 1972 to 1975, they were the supreme leaders under the Lonnol government. Du de okay. So two high-level members of the Lonnol government and Mr. Chao Sao, a very well-known Khmer Crown national banker, were asked to return to Phnom Penh soon after the Khmer Rouge came into power. That's your evidence. Why do you think that in following radio broadcasts, a few days later, Mr. Chao Sao's name was not included anymore? In your view. Quel est votre avis à ce sujet Réponse. After that, I could not understand Par la suite, it anymore because the high-ranking leaders comprenais plus were called, but to me, why Chao Sao convoqués? was uh, called to return because he was simply Pourquoi a Chao banker. So, été to me, I do not understand question. the reasons for the calling of these uh, people, including Chao Sao. Ces gens, y compris hey, Chao Sao. Or whether it's because of his origin Et as a Khmer Crown. A cause de ses origines Khmer Crown? That's why he was uh, called. Est pour cela I do not know the real reason Je pose behind it. Je ne pas les I just have two final questions, question. Mr. Chowney. Il me reste deux questions, Monsieur Chowney. First question, if we could just go back very quickly to the second letter that you mentioned earlier. So as you have told the court, there were two times from what you've heard from Mr. Cheng, the driver, there were two times that Mr. Chao Sao was met with by Khmer Rouge soldiers and two times that he was given a letter. I'm referring now to the second time. The second time that the soldiers met Mr. Chao Sao and they gave him a letter, you've told the court that Mr. Chao Sao asked his Monsieur driver Chao, to return home to his family. And after that, no one knows lui, what happened to Mr. Chao Sao, and he's never been found again. On a plus eu In your view, de Chao Sao, why do you think Mr. Chao Sao asked his driver to return Chao home Sao safely to his family and son not son to accompany him de anymore? Dans sa famille et de cesser de l'accompagner.
It is my understanding that there will be problems for Chao Sao in the second letter. For that reason, he asked Chi and the driver to return to his family. It is likely, in my view, that at the time, the Democratic Cambodia considered Chao Sao as a crown, and for that reason, he would be executed immediately. This is just my understanding. And my final question is more of a, a question for you to, to... It's more of a personal question, Mr. Chauni. You've had now this opportunity to be in court twice, and on this occasion, answer questions regarding this issue, regarding Mr. Chao Sao. Can you explain to the court, perhaps, why it has been so important for you <coughs> to find out the truth about your relative and your wife's late uncle, Mr. Chao Sao. Please let the court know, in your own feelings. Allow me to respond. And why do I need to find the relatives Pourquoi or the remaining of uh, Mr. Chao Sao? We were born in Kram, but when I was about Nous five or six years old, Krom, mais I was uh, brought to ans, Phnom Penh to live and be raised by Chao Sao. Et Chao Sao qui and he did not only help my family, but il also other Khmer Kram people en plus de ça, in Phnom Penh. Aidé de Phnom Penh. In, in Cambodia, everybody knew Cambodge, he was a good-hearted person. Que he would help and give support bon through any Khmer Kram who came to seek help in Phnom Penh. So Krom to me, it is a great loss à Phnom Penh. Pour moi, ça a donc été une for Chao Sao. Thank you, Mr. Chowney. Mr. President, I'm just going to hand it over Question. to my learned senior, Mr. Ang Pik. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Mr. Chowney. I have some questions. For you, in addition to the questions that have already put to you, en plus de celles déjà posées par d'autres. First of all, I like to ask you, ask you about the personality of the driver that is Mr. Chien. Au sujet de la personnalité de Monsieur Chim, le chauffeur. Did you meet Chien prior to 17 April 1975? Avez-vous rencontré cette personne avant le 17 avril 1975? If so, what was he like? Si oui, quel type de personne était-ce? Answer. Réponse. I did not meet Chien before 17 April 1975. But my wife, my wife had lived uh, with Chien. Question. Question. What did your wife think Question. of Chien? Did she ever talk to you about Chien? Est-ce que votre femme vous a Was jamais parlé de ce qu'elle pensait de Chien? D'après elle, était-ce quelqu'un de sincère? Answer. My wife Réponse. told me that before my uncle Ma Chao Sao selected a driver, he had to understand the feeling and the mentality of that driver very well. Chien was a strict mannered person. Personne President, dont les counsel, you need to use the time effectively and put the questions to the fact before us and not the indirect evidence that you are trying to get through or a, a rumor or hearsay. 
éviter de recueillir des informations qui seraient le de la rumeur, car cela n'est guère propice à la manifestation de la vérité. Maître Pic Ang, Monsieur le Président, President interrupts. Interruption Please President. use your methodology to try to get to the actual facts en before us so that we can also consider those facts rather than pour que nous use les questions relying on a hearsay, for instance, or indirect de evidence. It is not appropriate for the time par où y dire, ou des preuves indirectes. before this court. Councilor Pick Ang. Maître Pick Ang. Mr. Chow Ni, when you Monsieur met Chow with Chin in 1979, en 1979, and you stated that you met him in the presence of your wife and your mother-in-law. De votre femme et de votre belle-mère, d'après ce que vous avez dit. Did the three of you? Form the view that what was told by Chin was truthful. Chin, disait-il la vérité? Answer. Réponse. I knew that Chin told me the truth. Je because savais que Chin, Chin was a driver for Chiang Sao since the Chiang time Sao. that he became the president Depuis of the National Credit Bank. Bank so it is my opinion that he did not tell moi, us a lie. Il ne nous a pas menti. Question. Question. In the information given to you by Chin, did he tell you Chin, about the true soldiers parlé des where de they belong to, for instance? Et Answer. de l'unité à laquelle ils appartenaient, par exemple. He did not tell us uh, who they were, but he said that the soldiers wore black uniform and had a scarf or chroma on their uh, neck. So they were the soldiers of the liberation, liberation armed forces because at that time the country was already liberated. À ce moment-là, le pays avait déjà été libéré. Council, I have two more questions Maître for you. Ang. Il me reste deux questions. Question. Among, amongst the Khmer Rouge leaders, in your opinion, à votre avis, who had the closest contact or relationship rouge, with your qui uncle? Avait les contacts les plus Can you entertain the court? Oncle? Answer. Réponse. The person who had the, the contact, uh, the closest contact with my uncle Chao Sao is the o Chao only Sao. one, that is Mr. Kyo Sampon. Kyo Sampon et personne d'autre. I will skip to my last question, question. and I'd like now to Je conclude my question time, question. and I uh, thank terminé. you, Mr. President Merci, and Monsieur Mr. President. Mr. Merci. Civil Party for Monsieur your effort in trying to answer our questions. Fait thank de you. Votre mieux pour répondre à mes questions. President. Le President. Defend Council for Kyo Sampon. Do you wish to add que anything la défense else? de Kyo Sampan a quoi que ce soit à ajouter? Non, Monsieur le Président. Non, Mr. President. President, thank le you. Président. Merci. Mr. Chowney, Monsieur the Chowney, Chamber already informed you that you annoncé, will be given the opportunity as a civil party en tant que parti civil, to exercise your right to express your statement of suffering and the harms inflicted upon you physically, mentally, and materially 
which are et the direct consequences of the uh, crimes souffrance et préjudice resultant directement des crimes against the accused and that happened during the democratic Kampuchi regime if you wish to do so you may proceed à du régime du Kampuchea démocratique si vous souhaitez faire une telle déclaration vous en avez l'occasion maintenant civil party la partie civile the suffering that I went through the democratic Kampuchea mm -hmm. regime could not be described in words. However, the loss of my family and relatives and the pain that I suffered until today remained with me. I tried to forget it since 1979 until 1985 or 86. And I try not to recall my past until the establishment of this court by the government, passé, which is of its uh, hybrid nature with the United Nations. Place, and that triggered my pain, cette création qui a fait the pain that I suffered during the democratic Kampuji regime. Cette douleur my relatives, du my uncles, des membres de famille, de ma famille, they were oncle, all the people who had acquired a senior positions in the previous government. Des gens qui but des after the 17 April 1975, précédent, mais après le 7 avril I lost them all. Je les ai I tous lost perdus. everyone. And the pain and the suffering was unbearable. La douleur, la souffrance était it remains with me till the rest of my life. Et elles resteront avec moi jusqu'à la fin de mes jours. And now I have the opportunity to à appear présent, before your honor. And the only thing that I want to ask is ask for the whereabout of my late Je veux uncle. Seulement savoir où se trouve feu mon oncle. So that I can find his skeleton remains so that we can have a religious ritual ceremony for him. But now my hope disappears, en son honor. and only Mais à the pain remains. Et seule la reste. Two of my other siblings of my wife also died Deux together with myself. My ma nieces and nephews also died. My ma uncle in Poussat also died three days after the liberation. So for all those people who were of my crime origins, they all died. I do not know the reasons why they took revenge morts. against the my crime people. Even their children, the Les innocent children, were also Même des killed because of of their my crown origin. origin. And of course, Mr. Kirsten Pond should understand that because you used to have meal with the Khmer crown people. And why among the, the Khmer Rouge people, why they hated the Khmer crown so much? You should have known that. Khmer crown people, President, Le President. Mr. Civil Party, Pardon. please try to make your statement directly Monsieur related to the suffering and not to raise any new facts. En évitant de soulever de nouveaux faits. Please mention the actual suffering Veuillez that you have with this the time that you are given the opportunity by this chamber and do not raise any a new fact, only state your statement of suffering related to the crimes alleged against the accused. Because otherwise you will have to be recalled again and again. Vous Thank devrez you. Être cité à comparaître encore et encore. The great sufferings I have had is nothing other than the loss of my parents and my Les uncle and relatives. That's all, Mr. President and Your Honours. I thank you very famille. much indeed for this tout. opportunity. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges.
Mahakunlo, the president. Thank you, Mr. Chowney. The president. Merci, Monsieur Chowney. The additional testimony that you gave to the chamber and the session has now uh, come Votre to an end. Uh, you are now excused, and your testimony will help ascertain the truth. Votre déposition we wish you contribuera à la manifestation de all la the very best. Court officer is now directed to assist uh, with the Vestu unit to ensure that Mr. Chowney is returned uh, safe and sound. En coordination avec l'unité d'appui aux témoins, vous assurez que Monsieur Chowney puisse rentrer chez lui. The hearing today comes to an end and uh, it is because the chamber has not scheduled uh, to hear additional civil party or witness uh, for today's session. The chamber still has other pending issues uh, to deal with, Il and for that reason, uh, the chamber may adjourn now, and we know that international co-prosecutor is on his feet. You may proceed. Mr. President, I, I do apologize for uh, for delaying the conclusion of proceedings. I'll, I'll be extremely brief. I'm on my feet simply out of abundance of caution. Um, we didn't have notice prior to this morning's hearing that Q. Sampan would be answering questions. Um, and uh, of course, as you have indicated, Mr. President, on prior occasions, he has not exercised his right to remain silent. Um, the reason I, I'm on my feet is because I want to make sure that uh, in, in future proceedings, uh, the allegation is not made that the prosecution has waived its rights to, to examine the accused. Uh, under Rule 90, uh, of course, the, 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 the chamber uh, has a duty to examine the accused, and the prosecutors and other parties uh, have a right to question the accused. Um, and I'm on my feet uh, to make sure that um, that everybody is informed that the prosecution insists on uh, being afforded that right um, and to respectfully uh, ask the chamber, if, po if possible, to take this into account in your scheduling in, this, in these final stages of the trial, um, if possible, uh, aware of the view that it would be helpful to give as much notice to the accused uh, as well as to other parties of when uh, his questioning is to be scheduled so that we can all be prepared and the proceedings can, can uh, unfold in an orderly manner. That, that is my application. The President, uh, Mr. Chowney, you may le now leave the courtroom, please. Monsieur Chowney, vous uh, pouvez quitter le prétoire. Parties to the proceedings, if you wish to make any observation regarding this um, application by the co-prosecutor, you may now do des so. Observations concernant le point soulevé par le okay. co-procureur. The President, uh, Mr. Pekang, the co-lawyer for the civil parties, you may proceed first. Counsel Pekang. Good morning again, Mr. President and your Bonjour, honors. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. For the civil parties, when the question was put by a civil party to the accused. That question was made in the first place because uh, we, were, we are convinced that uh, any response by the accused uh, to the question would help heal the psychological wound uh, the civil party has had. Nonetheless, uh, uh, legal lawyers uh, for the civil parties share the position by the co-prosecutor that if the accused would like uh, to respond to any of the questions, uh, parties uh, should be offered the opportunity to question him. And, uh, it is true that a civil party will mention, um, speak 
about the su suffering, Nishi. the state uh, express the statement of suffering, and uh, with that, the Lorsque civil party should be allowed to uh, speak uh, to the best of the, his or her knowledge about the suffering, because things uh, about the suffering falls uh, very well within the scope of this uh, jurisdiction. Uh, Mr. Kyosun Pong's uh, counsel, you may now proceed, chambre, says the President. La défense de Kyosun vous avez la parole. Pas du tout compris la dernière partie de l'intervention de mon confrère. Understand, uh, euh, what my colleague was proposing. Je veux bien répondre, Monsieur le Président, I'm au reste. To answer euh, the other questions, of course. Um, so my God, my name is Lantier. Il me reste quoi ça dans ta gueule, hein? The President, uh, not the only president. you. Um, uh, have problem understanding the statement by Lee lawyer for the civil party, I believe that the bench itself is not properly informed. Uh, so we would like uh, counsel to restate uh, the statement again. Counsel Pick on. Thank you, Mr. President. I will make myself clearer this time. Civil party uh, expressed uh, the statement of suffering and this civil party did the same. And in his statement, normally when it comes to suffering, the suffering will have to be connected to the facts. The facts may include the old and the new facts, and it is normal. And this is the observation by lead lawyers for the civil parties. And that uh, during such a expression of suffering, if a new allegation of fact is uh, raised, uh, the chamber should not um, say that it is the error on the part of the civil party who raises such a new fact which invokes uh, uh, another call for a, a, an additional hearing for that new fact. So I believe that uh, my humble request is now clearly conveyed uh, to the chamber and the parties to the proceeding. And uh, if it is still not clear, I may wish to also add a few more words. The president, uh, as the president, of the chamber, I am entitled, en and it is my chambre, discretion to direct uh, any parties uh, to the proceeding regarding how the statement uh, the civil party uh, is uh, making uh, fall uh, within the chambre, uh, scope of uh, these uh, proceedings. And the chamber is trying its best to ensure uh, that no new allegation of fact uh, is uh, made or brought about in the statement of suffering because by doing so, uh, the Chamber will have to revisit it and uh, schedule another session for that. And with that, the Chamber has already instructed Council to also discuss this with uh, uh, their clients uh, so that uh, the suffering statement would be confined to only the old facts. And it saves the Court a lot of time by not making it schedule um, another hearing because the new fact uh, keeps occurring every time a civil party is expressing his or her statement of suffering. And uh, we do this because we would like to make sure that the uh, time is not uh, wasted. Uh, and with that, we would like to hand over to counsel for Mr. Kyosampan. Merci, Monsieur le Thank you, Mr. President. Je crois qu'il s'agit d'un débat essentiel. C'est la raison pour laquelle, au début de cette semaine, j'en avais d'ailleurs parlé. Week, pour nous, in our opinion, il faut un procès pour que un accusé soit jugé, condamné ou acquitté. Acquitted or sentenced. Pour nous, il faut un In our opinion, it's necessary to have a trial for a civil party, a civil party, a plaignant, a complainant, une victime, to become a victim, judiciaire, du moins, or at least a, a victim Et in legal 
terms. Ce que vient de dire mon confrère Picang souligne très exactement la difficulté que j'ai évoquée en début de semaine, à savoir que la semaine prochaine, votre chambre a convoqué des partis civils qui ne vont parler que de leur souffrance. Et pour nous, en défense, il s'agit in the defense team une sorte de saut dans le temps c'est-à-dire que subitement that is to avec say, les gens qui viendront la semaine prochaine week, on fera l'économie du procès ces gens sont considérés comme étant d'ores et déjà des These victimes judiciaires are considered de facto victims the president council your response would not be relevant because Co-prosecutor uh, just submitted uh, an application vient de about une the rights of the accused to remain silent or to respond to Relative questions on conditions, because accused may choose to respond to only some questions when he may not wish to respond to others. Uh, that was the part of that questions. is part of the application made uh, by the co-prosecutor, and now you are responding to the um, observation by the lead co-lawyer who is in support of the previous submission by the co-prosecutors. Indeed, uh, 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 this uh, has already been dealt with because uh, lead co-lawyer uh, was mentioning about. Uh, the civil parties who need to be allowed to express uh, the statement of suffering by way of perhaps uh, going into new facts. Uh, and, but all in all, the co-lawyer is in support faits. of the submission Dans made earlier on by the co-prosecutor. Now, the opportunity given to you now is to respond to Vous that submission by the co-prosecutor. So may we hear from you straightforward Donc, to the application by the uh, co-prosecutor regarding the right to remain silent by the accused person other than responding to the legal lawyer for the civil parties. Au, au Ce que je veux juste dire, Monsieur what le Président, I simply want to say, Mr. President, is that uh, de souffrance sans parler de faits, we are speaking about suffering without facts. Grounding the suffering. Ce vient de mon And mon this pour la indeed is what my civil party pour colleague ce qui has acknowledged. Demande, Now, regarding. Pff, pas vraiment compris si I don't, in fact, really understand whether we're speaking here about the, a request or, or an opportunity for the co prosecutor to uh, state his wishes, à poser des questions à meaning Kessampan. that he does not renounce putting questions to Kessampan. Uh, There are several layers uh, in his application. Final, First of all, his final statement focusing on the necessity for the prosecution to organize Nous itself. Avons une We de mise en état. asked for a trial Au management meeting, and up until today, moi, mon confrère, my colleague, myself, mon confrère, my colleagues, toutes les parties all ici, parties ignore here, quel est le programme de votre chambre à part la semaine prochaine. Your, uh, nous ne savons pas où nous allons. Nous ne savons pas quels seront, nous ne savons pas quels seront. We don't know quel est le nombre des témoins how many witnesses will come testify. qui vont se présenter à cette barre et nous ne savons pas quand ce procès prendra fin. Il y a des bruits de end. couloir, je n'ai pas d'informations. Nous avons demandé no une audience de mise en We état pour que ces questions soient évoquées et que nous ayons de la visibilité. Us, Donc, il y a des demandes qui so fusent de toutes parts, de la no part des parties. Mon confrère fait une semi-demande aujourd'hui. Moi aussi, j'en fais une. J'aimerais bien savoir où nous en sommes et quel sont au moins... The President, uh, Council, please limit your response to that, uh, to the co-prosecutor's application or request or what uh, raised by the co-prosecutor. 
et du point qu'il a soulevé concernant le droit d'accuser ton client or the right to respond to some questions and then uh, the right to remain silent again. So please uh, confine this uh, comment only on that particular relevant request. Today, we have just heard from you that you have not been informed regarding how the trial chamber apprised uh, parties to the proceedings of the scheduling Vous of the proceedings. It is today uh, that we learned uh, from you, but we will set this aside and we will deal with this Nous issue at a later date. Now, the Chamber wishes to know from you your position regarding your response to the submission by the co-prosecutor and uh, if uh, then we have to address your other issue, then we may uh, continue the hearing today until we have all problems solved. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Any other questions? Any other questions? Pour ce qui concerne la demande, je n'ai pas compris l'intervention de mon confrère de l'application comme une demande. Donc, je suis désolé de ne pas pouvoir vraiment répondre parce que j'ai l'impression qu'il souhaitait juste marquer le fait que feel that he just wanted to state the fact that uh, he does not renounce or waive his rights uh, to put questions to Kessampan. So I don't have uh, reaction partic any particular reaction in relation to this. Uh, I'm just pas à son droit. taking voilà. note of the fact
The President, uh, we would like to Le now hand over to Chacha Sylvia Cartwright to respond to uh, parties that are proceeding uh, on this. Judge Cartwright, you may not proceed. Yes, there are two matters that the President has asked me uh, to uh, comment on. Uh, they are interlinked. The first is the matter raised uh, by the co-prosecutors, which um, leaves the Chamber uh, with this specific question for the accused Nguyen Chia and Kyo Son Pong. Do they intend to uh, elect to retain their right to remain silent, si or will they answer questions? Now, Mr. Kyo Sampan may well be in a position to confirm that now. Mr. Nguyen Chia may need a little more time, uh, and Council can advise the Chamber how much time they need to answer that question. That then gives rise to the uh, management issues, contrary to what Mr. Verkin has indicated, the trial chamber is planning a trial management meeting. It takes time to plan the agenda, and the chamber also needs to know basic information such as those questions that have just been asked. It is intended to have such a trial management meeting within the next few weeks, uh, and Council and the parties will be informed of the agenda as soon as we have had time to meet to clarify it. During that trial management meeting, should the accused elect to answer questions, si les the Chamber will be asking the other parties how much time they estimate that they will need to put questions to the two accused. And finally, it should be emphasized that enfin, Kyo Sampan and Nguyen Chia will both have Kyo the Sampan opportunity during submissions to make statements. This is a separate issue altogether. Now, do the parties understand now? Uh, and uh, Mr. Kyo Sampan, are you able now to tell the chamber whether you wish to speak, whether you wish to answer questions si as you have indicated previously? or whether you wish to retain your right to remain si silent. Mr. Kiosampan. Exercez votre droit de garder le silence, Mr. Kiosampan. I did ask Mr. Kiosampan and Mr. Verkin. Je sais. I am aware of this. I know. Simplement, Simply, je vois pas pourquoi nous ne pourrions pas nous entretenir, c'est une question importante. Je comprends très bien que vous avez posé cette question à M. Kusampan, mais euh, finalement, les choses vont dans les deux sens. C'est-à-dire que nous, nous, nous ne savons pas quels sont les témoins qui restent. Who the remaining witnesses are? Nous savons pas um, quand ce procès se terminera. Et vous, vous nous dites Mr. que M. Kusampan est celui qui bloque ce procès. Mr. Verkin, that was not the Mr. question Verkin. that was asked. As part of the planning for the final posé. stages of the trial, it is necessary to find out whether the accused intend to exercise si their right to remain silent, and silence. time will then be allocated if they choose to answer questions. This is part and parcel of everyday trial management, including remaining witnesses. And you will be informed as soon as we are in a position to give you that final information. Now, Mr. Kiyosampan, I would be very grateful if you could indicate to the Chamber whether you are uh, prepared to answer questions. Uh, of course, the Chamber will accommodate 
um, your needs, if you um, feel you can't speak for a very long time or any matters like that, we will certainly take that into account. But we do need this basic information now, and I'm sure you understand that. Thank you. Good morning, Madam Judge. Bonjour, Madame la Juge. Good morning, Your Honours. Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges, bonjour. This matter is the matter of me being prosecuted. And the allegations against me are of a Je serious nature. Ici. Les and personally, I am not fully familiar with all the legal aspects of this court. Je ne suis pas For that reason, I seek permission from Your Honor to consult with my counsel Je first. Uh, this morning, de I responded to Chauni's request Ce matin, because of my true feeling toward his pain and suffering. Car bien and I took the opportunity in the presence of Mr. Chauni to do that. Sa présence, uh, that is all, Your Honor. Yes, um, thank you, President. Um, the, uh, we, note, we note what you have said, uh, Mr. Kiyosampan. Of course, you may have the opportunity to ask your uh, legal advisors about the uh, court processes. Um, uh, we are agreed that both you and Nguyen Chia will have until Monday morning at 9 a.m. to inform the trial chamber of your decisions. Mr. Kopi, is that uh, acceptable also to you? Uh, I think so. President, thank you, Judge Cartwright. Merci, Judge Cartwright. The proceeding today is adjourned, and we will resume on Monday, the 27th of May 2013, starting from 9 a.m. On Monday, we will hear some civil parties' testimonies who will make their statement of sufferings and statement of harms under the Democratic Cambodia regime. May all the parties and the public be informed. Security guards are instructed to take the two accused back to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom on Monday, 27th of May 2013, before 9 a.m. As for Nguyen Chia, bring him Monsieur to the Nguyen holding Chia cell downstairs, which is equipped with audio-video equipment for him to follow the proceeding. The court is now adjourned.